Please welcome Michael Rappaport. Michael. I'm so excited to be here. I know, right? Look at the audience. Fantastic audience, beautiful audience. Everybody's healthy. I'll just, the, the kicks are on. My Ooh. kicks are banging, okay? Yep. My kicks are one-offs from Italy. Custom Jordans. Have you got Air Rappaport. You see oh, what Air it Rappaport. is. Air Rappaport. You see what it is, Wendy. Wait. You can see we, what it is. Can we buy those? Or is that your limited line? Th that's not my limited line. A guy, uh, a designer in Italy hooked me up. But if you want me to get you hooked up, I'm sure I could arrange that. I, I do. I got you. I do, don't forget. I, done, done. No, I get the sizes, I, done. You're very busy, so if you forgot, I wouldn't be mad. I, I, I'm not gonna forget, Wendy. Okay. How are you? Uh, well, you wanna know what? You are so my type. Like if you haven't, if you hadn't been married for years, you know, with young children, you are definitely dateable and the rest. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, very attractive. Thank you. Okay, let's talk hot topics. Let's whatever, wherever you want to go, how, wherever and however you want to do it, we okay. can do it. The, the, Hi. The Hi. The skimpy neighbor outfit. What do you say? Let her live. First of all, are you a peeping Tom? Maybe we press charges on you. Mind your business. She's not butt ass. Uh, uh, it's like, let her, let her live. She, she's not doing anything inappropriate. Why don't you find something better to do with yourself besides looking in my window, crazy person? Right. And possibly being jealous. You're, you're jealous, you're crazy, and like maybe like you're intrusive. Maybe I press charge, maybe I leave you a note. Well, you know what? No. Maybe I give you a Netflix account number. Like, find, like, watch a movie, Netflix and chill. Hey, you know what? Now that she has that note, she can actually take that to the police station and press charges. Like, yo, this guy's looking in my window. I would, I would. Yeah, I, I agree. She's doing nothing wrong. Yeah. Sharon Stone, 25-year-old man. Sharon Stone, if you... Sharon Stone, if you want to go out with a rapper, go out with a real rapper, number one. Number two... Number two, I, I don't know if they're dating because I'm a fan of Sharon Stones. I, I, listen, I know these, these kids, it's young generation. Personally, Sharon Stone, like go out with a man who doesn't have a, like who has a man purse, not a purse purse. Uh, number two, <laughs> number three, like, yeah, come on Sharon, you're Sharon Stone. You're right? Sharon Stone, like come on Sharon Stone. A legend. Yeah. yeah I, but they could be just friends, but you're Sharon Stone. Like, come on, you're, you're Sharon Stone. What yeah. are you doing? Making him hot. Because right. then once they break up, he'll be hotter than hot. Listen, you, you, you might be hot, but you still need some talent. I'm not saying he's not talented. I'm just saying I like rappers that rap. Like, right. you know what I mean? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West, the face mask, the fashion show. I got to be honest, you know, it, it, we could say how funny it is. I feel bad for him because this is not, this is not enjoyable. This is not even like a mask for COVID. This is a, a, a mask of prison, a life of prison. This is not fun. This is, um, I feel bad for him. Like, why go anywhere if, if that's, what are you doing? Where, we, where, we are you, where are you going? Like, I don't feel, I feel bad for him. It, it, you know, and also like there's other, you're not Michael Jackson, like Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, these guys move around. Jay-Z moves around. Take the mask off. We're okay. We'll be excited and then we'll get over. Just like we get over all your other stuff. Like, yeah. just enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Shakari Richardson being banned from the Olympics? I think she messed up. She knows she messed up. I think it'll be a, a good thing for her career. Um, I think everybody knows who she is, whether you're a track fan or you're not a track fan. Mm -hmm. I think the Olympics, uh, uh, the people that are making the decisions, what are they smoking? Can we test those people? Yeah. Also, you know, also, you know, the Olympics, are, they're, they're branding these Olympics in 2021 as the 2020 Olympics. Again, what are y'all smoking? Like, it's 2021, and there's no fans there, so why would she even want to perform in front of no fans? Yeah. And there's co- So I think it's, but I think I, it'll wind up being better off for her. But I do think that they would um, 
lose their cred credibility if they had her participate this year. But they said it was a 30-day ban. If, if the 30-day ban and the, the suspension was fine for the 400, for the, for the real eight, let her run. But now I think it's too crazy anyway. But it, it's, it's the Olympics, uh, it's the 2020 Olympics that are being branded in, in 2021. It's, 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 I don't know. Even the runner that um, has that record right now, the runner that uh, she was trying to break her record, uh, even she said, you know, I get it. If you want to smoke, smoke. You know, do whatever you want. But rules are rules. I agree. Rules are rules. I think it'll be better for her. Yeah. So I know that you are a huge Housewife fan. Yes. Of all the franchises. But my favorite one has always been New York, even though I'm from Jersey. Always been New York. Uh, Fantastic show. Uh-huh. I mean, it's a great program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last night, Kathy Hilton coming out and saying, who's hunky dory? Right. I mean, this is, I'll debate anybody that the Real Housewives, right now, the best show, the best shows on TV, I'll debate, argue with anybody. This is great programming. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Fantastic programming. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What are your thoughts on Ebony, the new girl? And also, if you saw Brashawn. I, th I saw Brashawn. I saw Brashawn on your show because I'm a fan. Okay. Um, uh, Thank you. I think, this is what I think about Ebony. I think she's been okay so far. Um, she doesn't look like she's having fun. And, and in regards to reality TV, and I watch it all, I don't care if it's The Real Housewives of New York, Atlanta, Potomac, OC, Beverly Hills. I don't care if it's The Real Housewives of the Bronx, Missouri, Staten Island. <laughs> I don't care if it's The Bachelor, Bachelorette. When I come to watch reality TV, I ain't coming for a history lesson, a social lesson, right. a political lesson. If I want to learn something, I could click the channel, I could listen to this podcast, I could break out my old Encyclopedia Britannicas. I come for the wig snatch, I come for a drink throw, and I come to hear about couture, and I don't even know what couture is. Ah, what is couture? Those sneakers. Boom. They were made just for you. I don't even know what couture I, is. I think it's bespoke. Okay, well, and none of that, but that's what I come for. So in regards to, to the, all the, all the heavy-handedness uh, on reality TV, it's like, we know there's things changing, but I could also, like, you've been sucking us in. We've been loyal fans to all these shows for years after years after years. It's not good customer service to have to stuff that down our throat yeah. every single episode. Yeah. It's every now and then to dip into it. But we come for a good time. Right. Ha it's, like, it's like watching a, a cartoon in the morning. Yeah. You know, you come for a cartoon, you come for to watch the cartoons. Reality TV, we come for, we're not here for all that goofiness. Right. Um, what do you think about Brashawn? She's fun. I mean, she's only been two episodes. She's been good so far. Um, and I want to see more. Uh, That's all right. <laughs> Wendy, let me tell you something, Wendy. The fact that you're able to come out here and rock live, unscripted, I don't think people know. Like, I was watching in the beginning, like, you're chilling, like, that was your second burp of the show. No one cares. <laughs> But, no, but I, I tell you why. Most people would freak out doing that. I know. And you just, you do your thing and you're so good at it. I don't think people understand the skill set, the high level professionalism that you bring. Yeah, and also what it takes to make this show. You see all the stuff going on behind the scenes? Yeah. Everybody moving and vacuuming yeah. and I'm holding on and they're screaming in my ear. And it's a lot happening. my hair and, yeah, all right. Let's talk Bachelorette. Okay. Okay, do you like her? She's ish so far. She's ish so far. Uh, 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 this season, first of all, listen, the Wendy Williams show, you need a host, okay? You watch a basketball game. I want, I, you need somebody to uh, uh, commentate the game. Chris Harrison not being there, no host being there. Again, these girls that are in there sort of filling in, they're not professionals. They're not trained professionals. You yeah. can't just throw anybody in there. Mm -hmm. Chris Harrison, uh, they removed him again. I don't even know the full story. I grew up in New York City. I didn't know what an antebellum party was Neither until I heard I. Chris, ha Chris Harris get in trouble for not knowing what an antebellum yeah. party was. So the show's been okay. The guys are like, ew. Why Every are, last it, one it, of them. Is it a generational thing? Why the capris with no socks? Um, and also, maybe she- Very, how you doing? It's very, how you doing? And also, uh, <laughs> Also, maybe she can't find the right guy because their feet all stink. Like, maybe she's like getting close to him and like, yo, my man, put some socks on. Put some socks on. Your, your ankles ain't cute. They don't yeah. look dope. Like, yo, put some socks on, man. And all the kissing. And they kiss, like, it just seems like an exhausting thing. 
It's a great show. It's been a great franchise. Chris Harrison, I, I think, should be, be brought back if he wants to. He doesn't nah, seem like he wants to. He's done. He's done. <laughs> um, but at, at this point in, in this season, this particular season, uh, uh, um, we, we need to get down to business now. Now yeah. we get down to the crying and the regret and the, and the, 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 you know, the, the sweets and all that stuff. So it's going to be good I've now. watched every episode, and I make it appointment TV. How about you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Uh-huh. And I watch it live. There's not like all oh, the back. Me too, me too. I don't watch it on Thursday. No. It's Monday night. No. That's how I like all my TV. Yeah. Live. Yeah, live. If you watch, if you love the show, like Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, we watch the show. That's the same thing with these shows. Yep. Atypical. Yes. The final season? Yes. So successful. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Michael Rappaport, everybody. Atypical is on, uh, on Netflix tomorrow.